students and families. We would like to welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. We know that this will be a start unlike any other and wanted to provide a distance learning orientation to help you navigate learning in a virtual setting. Please use this video as a key reference to assist you with the many aspects of distance learning, including how to be a successful learner in the virtual setting and following the three R's of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn, the daily distance learning schedule, which will require students to be present in real time through Google Meets with their teachers and classmates on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. There will also be assignments for students to complete independently outside of these sessions. We will look at how to log into your Home Access Center and navigate your class schedule to identify what courses you have and who your teachers are. The Google Suite, which includes Google Classroom and the new Gmail platform that has replaced Outlook for student email. And lastly, we know that being virtual presents a challenge in getting to know your teachers. We will also show you how to access a document that provides introductory information about your teachers and the information necessary to join the Google Classroom for each of your courses. We know it may be difficult to get used to remote learning at home, but here are some ways that you can be successful. Have a dedicated workspace for daily classes and work completion. Set a daily routine to prepare for the day. Don't forget to set your alarm. Be sure to attend all scheduled classes on time because attendance counts. If you're not going to be there, your parents should be calling you off to the attendance office like traditional school. You will earn traditional grades, not pass fail like it was in the spring, and grades do affect athletic eligibility. And lastly, follow the three R's. Come every day, respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. As a virtual learner at home, the three R's are still very important, being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. It may look a little different in the remote learning environment. When you're respectful, you're taking turns, commenting on online lessons, speaking one person at a time, being respectful, making comments that are respectful, watching your facial expressions, and using appropriate etiquette when you're communicating through email or posting comments. Responsible is turning in your work, thinking before you post, attending all your assigned classes every day, following the class procedures, completing all of your offline work and your online work, and then helping others who might need assistance. Being ready means that you have all of your materials in your dedicated workspace and you are joining your Google Meets on time. Complete and turn in all your assignments on time, try your best, ask for help when needed, and actively participate. On Mondays, there will be no live instruction with teachers. However, teachers will communicate the weekly agenda with you on Mondays. Teachers will plan for intervention and enrichment time, which we will talk about here shortly. And there'll be time for you, the students, to complete any assignments that the teacher has assigned. Tuesday through Friday, there will be time for intervention and enrichment, which again, we'll talk about here shortly. Tuesday and Thursday, you'll have periods one through four. And Wednesday and Friday, you'll have periods five through eight. This is a sample of what a daily schedule will look like. There's time every day for um, enrichment and intervention at the beginning of the day, and there's also time at the end of the day for enrichment and intervention. Your teacher will schedule that time with you, and you will be required to attend if they ask you to. Uh, that could be anything from individual instruction to um, some small group instruction. And on Tuesday, you will have periods one, two, three, and then a lunch break, and then period four. The times for those classes are in each block. Thursday, that's the same schedule as it is on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you'll have periods five, six, and seven, and then you'll have a lunch break, and then you'll have period eight. Again, Friday is the same schedule as Wednesday.
Home Access Center, or HACC, is the district's official gradebook. It allows students and parents to stay connected to their child's courses and teachers on their class schedules, their assignments and grades, and student attendance. As soon as teachers post items to their gradebooks, the information becomes available using the HACC portal through the district's website. Many of our communication tools are tied to Home Access Center, so it is crucial that your contact information is kept up to date in the registration section of HACC. To get to Home Access Center using your Chromebook, once you open an internet window on Google Chrome, you'll see at the top parmacityschools.org bookmarks. If you click on this link, a drop-down menu will appear and HACC will be at the top of the list. If you click there where it says HACC, it will automatically take you to the login page for Home Access Center. Another way to get to Home Access Center is through the parmacityschools.org website. To do so, you can visit the district's main page in your browser and click on the For Students link at the top of the page. This will take you to a directory of important links for students. And by scrolling down under H, click on the Home Access Center online gradebook link. This will then take you to a page that provides basic information on Home Access Center including how you can request misplaced usernames and passwords by emailing homeaccesscenter at parmacityschools.org. Scrolling down under those directions under where it says click here to log in will take you to the main login page for Home Access Center. You will need to use your Parma City Schools username and password. So for example, if your name was Adam Jones, your username may be jones.a1 and you'll use your district provided password and click sign in. Once you are logged into Home Access Center, this is what your main page will look like. Your full schedule may not appear on the main page, so you will need to click the bar on the right hand side that says view full schedule. After clicking view full schedule, your class schedule, which includes both first and second semester courses will appear. The most important part of the schedule to pay attention to are those items highlighted in the green box. You will see a description which includes the title of your class followed by the period you have that class. Next is the assigned teacher and room number and lastly the marking periods you will be enrolled in that class. Something very important to pay attention to, especially as you prepare for distance learning at the beginning of the year, are the marking periods listed for each of your classes. A class listed with the marking periods highlighted in blue mean that you will have that assigned class for the entire year. If your marking period is listed only as M1, M2 as highlighted in green, this means it is a class that will only be for the first semester which is the first and second quarter. Those classes with marking periods highlighted in blue or green are the ones that you should be setting up your Google Classrooms for at this time. If your marking period is listed only as M3, M4 as highlighted in red, this means it is a class that will only be second semester, which is the third and fourth quarters. The information for these new second semester courses highlighted in red will be communicated at the start of the new semester. For the 2021 20, school year, Parma City Schools has moved completely to Google. We have different apps that we will use like Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Classroom, to name a few. I will now show you how to navigate through these in order to be successful in each one of your classes. The first thing you wanna do is to hover over your Google Apps. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna to go to my Gmail. You should be checking your Gmail multiple times a day. Here's where I can see my inbox of different messages that I have received. I can compose a message to a teacher or a classmate, and then I can also start or join a Google Class meeting. The next thing, I want to do 
is to log on to my Google Classroom. This is what an example of somebody's Google Classroom where I have my different periods throughout my day. If I needed to add a new class, I'm going to click join a class right over here. And it's going to ask me for a class code on the, the high school website, as well as an email from your high school principal. There will be a list of staff members at your school. They will provide a link to a profile page where they will have every single one of their periods listed with a class code. All you have to do is get your class code, copy and paste, and you will join the class. The final thing I wanted to show you is the hover back over here. And you're going to click on Google Drive. In your Google Drive, this is where all your documents are saved. I can create a new folder, a Google Doc, a sheet, or a slide presentation. I have access to all of my things that I've worked on throughout the year and able to send and receive with different classmates and teachers. The final resource that I want to show is accessing Parma City Schools website. You're going to click on Parents. Scroll down to Instructional and Technology Family Support. Here's a dashboard for a student video tour and all the apps that you will need to be successful throughout this distance learning. Even though we are in the remote setting, we have set up ways for you to connect to your building staff. Each high school will have a Meet the Staff page with all of the administrators, counselors, and teachers listed. Here is one example. You can scroll down and click on the links for the individual person's name, and it will take you to that person's personal bio. That way you can find out some more information about your teachers, administrators, or counselors in the building. This information will be communicated by your individual building principal. Please reach out to your building principals or guidance counselors with questions or concerns. This is far from the traditional start of the year, but remember, the best is yet to come.